All right, so today we want to talk a little bit about setting up FileZilla and your text editor of choice, be it uh, Sublime, Dreamweaver, Atom, Notepad++, doesn't matter. Uh, we want to show you how to set those up to work with FileZilla um, and with your managed WordPress account from GoDaddy. So um, the reason this is important, um, we'll touch on that first, is a lot of people like to use this editor that's built right into the WordPress dashboard. If you go to Appearance and Editor, you can edit your style sheet. You can edit all of these files here, um, which vary from theme to theme, but you can edit your functions file, your style sheet, which is fine. Uh, the problem comes in when you need to go back and undo something that you've already done. You can't do that from within this editor. You don't have an undo history like you would um, in Sublime or in some of the other text editors. So it's not ideal. Um, so that's why we want to set up FileZilla to be able to work with those files instead. So um, jump over to FileZilla. I'm going to go into my settings um, and we need to change two things. The first one is under interface and file list. We want to change the double click action on files to be view edit. And then next we want to go to file editing and use a custom editor. Mine's already selected, but for the first time you're going to go in and click browse. Go find your text editor. For me, uh, that's Adam, but again, you can use any text editor. Um, click open. And then uh, to save our changes, we have to click OK. Uh, and then next thing is actually finding your credentials, your FTP credentials for your GoDaddy Managed WordPress. So that's going to be done here at the top of your GoDaddy uh, WordPress dashboard. You're going to see GoDaddy settings, which is going to open up your hosting gateway. Um, here's the site I'm editing. So here's the temporary uh, domain that's assigned to it. Um, so if I go down and find that domain, I'm going to go to settings. And this is where I can find my FTP credentials. So um, under settings, we've got SSH and SFTP. Um, and here's everything you need to be able to put into FileZilla. Your host name, port, your username, and your password. Don't forget, you have to click this toggle password in order to show the password. But in the interest of time, I've already connected to my server. Um, but here's all that information we just mentioned. Host name, username, password, port number, and connect. Once you connect, it's going to display your um, list of files on your server. Um, and to get to the same files that you would see within your WordPress dashboard to be able to edit, you want to go to WP Content. Then we want to go to themes um, and the particular theme that I'm working on for this one is called Arcade Basic and that's the one that's applied to this site here. So um, just for example's sake we want to edit the background color of this navigation bar which is currently red. I've already um, used my inspector um, which has popped up over here to find the class that I want to edit which is dot navbar inverse and dot navbar collapse. So here's my background color. We want to change that to let's just say black for example's sake so um, I can actually pick the line number right out of um, my developer tools here it's 3128 so if I go back to FileZilla and I go down to here's my style sheet for my theme if I double click that it's going to open it in my text editor of choice. So here's my style sheet, just like what would have been under appearance and editor within my WordPress installation. So um, I'm going to jump down to that line number, which was 3128. And you can see the number here. And there's the background color we want to change. I'm going to change that to black. Um, I'm going to do Command S. If you're on a PC, it'll be Control S, and that will essentially upload the file back to the server. So um, I actually need to go back to FileZilla. It's basically telling us what we already know, that the file has been changed, which means we changed the nav bar from red to black. So I'm just going to click yes. It's asking me, do I want to upload this file back to the server? I'm going to say yes, and that's going to apply my changes to the server. So come back to the live site, refresh, and my nav bar is red, which is okay. Um, a lot of times what happens on GoDaddy's managed WordPress is that your changes get cached, whether that's editing within the WordPress dashboard or 
externally like we just did. Um, in order to fix that, we want to do flush cache. And then I'll refresh again. And there are the changes that we made. My nav bar is now black. So um, I can continue to work um, over here in Atom or in my text editor um, and make any other changes I need. And then when I'm done, just uh, do the shortcut of file and save. Um, and that will upload it back to the server. So um, the, the really key part to that is if I want to go back, just like we talked about, if I want to go back to my red navigation, um, I can come down to where I was, line 3128. Uh, here's the color that we changed. If I do a Command-Z or Control-Z on a computer, that's going to change my color back to red. And then I resave that file. Uh, FileZilla is asking me, again, if I want to apply those changes to the server, I'm going to click Yes. Go back to the live site and refresh. Again, I'm experiencing caching, so flush cache and refresh. And we're back to red. So um, definitely a much safer, um, reliable, and, and overall just a smarter way to work um, with your managed WordPress projects uh, from GoDaddy using FileZilla and your text editor of choice.